I think what's exciting about the Global Network University is we are going to enable students and faculty in multiple locations to interact in real time with their fellow faculty and students in other locations. We know that folks learn in different ways and text is one way to communicate but we can communicate through images, through video. This requires a certain type of technology, it requires a certain type of room design that will support this kind of collaboration and I think this is one of our ultimate goals is to foster this collaboration easily for faculty and students. My course is in the morning and the course in London is in the afternoon. Their cameras are trained on both classes and we just begin our discussion. We met and would have a video conference and they would be in their room in London and we would be here in, in New York and it was in real time. Once the conversation began, it was just kind of seamless and everyone was really comfortable. But the class time can be spent primarily on interaction and dialogue and discussion. So that that time with students and faculty together, whether they're in one location as well as they're speaking to faculty and students in another location, can be spent in that real discussion, that interaction about ideas. It's also good for the students to um, get a sense of who the, who the students in those international sites are, because there's a slightly different um, group of students. A lot, they tend to be more international. That was really interesting to have them and to talk about things with them because they come from a completely different place and have a very different interpretation. We want our learning spaces to be flexible and robust to support a variety of learning styles and pedagogies. All of the furniture is very flexible. The chairs have wheels on them, the tables have wheels on them. They're very easy to manipulate and to reconfigure. That can be done on the fly. We have a diversity of faculty who have a variety of teaching styles. So you may have students that meet um, frequently in the classroom, maybe every Wednesday from 6 to 9, but also have online conversations during the week um, in a real-time format. Another thing that I like about it is um, then I'm able to sort of connect with a whole other group of, of, of students. You know, once you get used to the technology, you know, I could just call on students in London. But it just kind of changed things up and, and it brought a lot of different ideas to the table and we talked about things that I know we definitely wouldn't have touched on otherwise. We try to seek the input of faculty who are interested in learning spaces to get their ideas about particular types of technology and also how that technology might be integrated into the classroom. Students, um, there's a certain wow factor. I can see how it could really become a really good tool to show them you know, parts of the world that they might not ever see. So we can build in infrastructure within a facility that might not be used today or in the next two or three or f even four years, but will be there in, in the case that it's needed in five, six, seven years.